Hey folks, um, today I wanted to talk a little bit about involving um, magic and your correspondences into your daily life. So the last couple of videos I did, I touched on loading candles and also uh, maintaining a healthy lifestyle as a way to strengthen your, um, your spiritual avenues and your spiritual depth. It's, uh, it's difficult to have a strong spiritual self when you have a, a weak physical self. Um, you just don't have the energy to put into uh, workings or rituals or, you know, writing rituals or writing workings. Um, so, you know, the idea is to take care of yourself so you can sustain other areas of your life, your emotional self, your mental self, your spiritual self. So part of that is um, daily practice which a lot of people have gotten away from and they find that to be one of the hardest things about um, developing your spiritual self. And just like uh, exercise with your body, your body's not gonna get any stronger or any healthier if we don't exercise it or if we put junk into it. So I want to encourage you to be mindful of the things that you're reading and the things that you're watching on TV. Um, I took an oath about 12 years ago to not um, read anything other than current events, of course. So, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm up on what's going on in the world and, you know, the election and everything. Um, I, but I took an oath other than that to not read anything other than spiritual texts and spiritual related books. They can be, um, you know, about meditation or self-help or things like that, but I don't read nonfiction. Um, so I, and I don't watch uh, I don't watch TV and I don't watch movies that are um, violent are, or are of, you know, some, uh, you know, psychological subject matter that I think I may recall at some point that would interfere in my sleep, that would interfere in my thoughts. I just don't have a need to put images, um, violent images in my mind because I don't feel like they have any place in my life and I don't feel like they're going to help better myself or help better uh, my, my spirituality. So I choose to abstain from those things. And I really recommend that you uh, put some real effort and some real thought into the types of things that you read and watch for entertainment because I think it has a lot more of an impact than what you realize. So when we start you know, inspecting all those avenues, what we're putting in, of course, depends on, on what we get out, the quality of what we put in, into our, our minds, what we're watching with our eyes, what we're reading, the food we're eating, depends on the quality of what we're able to uh, put out into uh, our physical selves, what, how, you know, how easily we get exhausted, how easily um, we get sick, things like that. And the same as applies spiritually. So if you're not exercising your spiritual self and having some so, sort of daily practice, no matter how small it is, your spiritual self is going to be weak. So you have to do something every day to strengthen that and keep it um, and keep it active. So these are a few hints on things that you can do daily uh, to sort of involve spirituality into your, your daily life. If you don't have time to sit down in front of an altar and, and you know, and do a specific, um, offering or working, which I, you should be doing offerings every day. I don't want to give you an excuse there. It's very easy to put out a cup of water or a cup of rum or a cup of whiskey or a cigar or some fresh flowers or the first portion of your meal. Um, the, the first portion of your meal is a very easy one. You're cooking, you're preparing meals anyway. You can give them the first offering and you, you set it on your altar. Um, I have several videos about offerings. If you would like to know more about that, you can uh, easily watch those and it should cover about everything you need to know. So the other areas I want to talk about are, you know, our mundane habits. So, and I talked about this in my, um, my spiritual health video where working, uh, concentrating on what, why you're doing mundane things, things that are boring, controlling your mind and taking it to another area to help strengthen and develop you spiritually. So um, a really easy way to do this is to start to involve our correspondences into our daily habits like cooking and cleaning. So if you have, um, you're wanting to work on say, you know, love at the time. So why not try re researching recipes that would be filled with foods or um, herbs and spices that correspond to love. So 
things like fruits, you know, why not try baking a pie or baking a tart and using, you know, um, using herbs like anise and cinnamon and clove and things like that. Things that are known that we use in our magical work, you know, on our altar to bring love, but we start involving them in our cooking. So that's one thing that I like to do. If I feel like um, bringing a certain energy into my house, not only am I involving it in my candle work and my, my spiritual work, but I start to involve it in my cooking. And while I'm cooking, if it's something that I want to draw into my life, as we're speaking about love right now, um, I will you know, stir whatever I'm, I'm making in a clockwise manner. And that's to draw that's to draw in positive things. If it was for protection or something I wanted to sort of get out of the house, I would stir in a clockwise, in a counterclockwise manner. Excuse me, counterclockwise. I want to correct that. So a few other ways besides cooking we can get into this is just having a pot of water on the stove and putting uh, you know, a little bit of water in there and boiling your herbs and spices for whatever course, whatever they correspond to whatever you're working on. Say again, love. So say we put, you know, um, orange peels and apple peels and cinnamon sticks and star anise and clove, uh, you know, all spice, all spice is good for prosperity and for sort of boosting other works. So we put these and we make sort of a, you know, what I refer to as a simmer pot on the stove. And this not only is this, you know, enveloping your kitchen in your household with this this fragrance but your your the the boiling water is breaking down all of the the energies and the the cellular walls of these items and releasing it into your atmosphere so that's another really easy way while you're cooking just put on a pot of the herbs that you're using in your workings and uh, you will be surprised at how effective that is because it's carried throughout the entire um, the the air of the entire house. So other ways, doing floor sweeps. You can do these on hardwood floors, tile floors, or you can even do them on carpet or rugs that you vacuum. So taking a mixture of herbs, as, we, as, we, as we've been talking about love, say you take maybe jasmine buds or hibiscus flowers, anise seed, maybe a little powdered cinnamon, um, rose petals, so when you grind these up finely, uh, a good way to do this is to have a coffee grinder, a coffee mill that's separate from the one you use daily for your, your food or your coffee items um, to, to grind up your uh, herbs really, really finely, especially for harder things like seeds and roots, and make a floor sweep. So you sprinkle this all over your floor. You can work, I personally work from front to back sort of drawing in what I what I want into the household. So I work from front to back and then I will sweep or vacuum from front to back and I sweep sweep all this up and um, this would then be discarded uh, out, you know, outside or in your garbage can. Very simple. If you're vacuuming it up, obviously it's going into your vacuum cleaner. You can also do this for washing your walls and your windows when you um, I, I try to make my own cleaners most of the time just using part of vinegar and water. So I'll use about one part, one third vinegar, two thirds water in a spray bottle and that's what I clean most of my surfaces with. I also like to put maybe orange and lemon peels um, in that bottle because um, I like the oils are a good cleaner as well as obviously the fragrance from them. So you can add some harder herbs and roots to the bottle, the spray bottle that you're using. You don't want to use finely milled stuff or dried leaves because it's going to get sucked up in your sprayer. Or you can make, um, you know, for my walls and windows, I'll make a uh, uh, bucket of wash water, just like you would for your mop, and use a cloth to um, sort of... Uh, clean your your windows and your walls with that so that's another way that you can very easily involve this into cleaning your house and as you're doing this of course you're focused on your goal you're focused on um, bringing love into your household bringing peace into your household um, maybe healing a relationship right now that um, is either a little rocky maybe just preventative magic so it's everything is great right now but you continue to do these things daily and weekly to keep that energy up, to keep it where it is right now, to sustain it. So it's just like uh, it's like hot air in a, in a hot air balloon. You know, if you stop pulling, if you stop pulling that lever 
and the flame's not going up to heat the air, the balloon's going to come down. So I really am a big proponent of spiritual maintenance and whatever you have that is going well for you now, staying on top of that. Just like exercise, if you stop exercising, you know, your health is going to decline. So um, just stay on top of it. Try to involve these little things in your daily practice. It's much easier than you think if you just put a tiny bit of effort into it. Um, there are probably items you already have. It's just utilizing them in a different facet. So involve them in your cooking, involve them in your cleaning, um, involve them in another thing you can easily do is, um, you know, all of these herbs we've been talking about that say you have on hand because you've been doing love workings or prosperity workings or protection workings, just add them to a hot um, incense charcoal, a hookah charcoal. You, you can find rolls of it for sale on my site or in many other um, botanicas or occult shops, new age shops, and, you know, get a coal going. And as you're boiling, you know, your simmer pot on the stove and while you're doing your cleaning with your floor sweeps and everything, you know, toss some of that herbal mixture on there and release that into the air as a cleansing smoke, as a, as a welcoming, enveloping smoke to draw in that energy further. The more ways that we can utilize these energies of, of herbs and the natural shade that they possess, the more ways we can release these into our environment, the better off we'll be and the easier our magic becomes. So I just want to encourage you all to give that a try and start making your mundane life and your magical life synonymous with one with each other, or at least running very close parallels to each other. So um, eventually, you know, they 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 start uh, you're they're going alongside each other, and eventually they start meeting up and they start meshing to where they're synonymous. So um, I hope you all have a great week, and I hope you enjoy the videos. If you have anything you'd like me to cover, please comment below, and I'll do my best to cover it. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you soon. All right, bye.